In this lesson, we're going to do a little bit of physics, um, nothing crazy. Uh, it's talking about grade resistance, and the good news is this force equals um, your weight times sine of theta. That is the grade resistance. So force refers to um, your grade resistance. So it's um, uh, physics. Um, there's just a, a resistance depending upon kind of the angle. Um, here's my generic that your F refers to the force, your W refers to the weight of your, uh, we're going to be talking about cars, automobiles, and then there is an angle associated to it. So that angle, that if it's uphill, it's going to be a positive, if it's downhill, it's going to be negative, so kind of similar to what we do anyway, where this direction is a positive angle, this direction is a negative angle. Um, and the wonderful thing is, this is our formula. So it's just force is going to equal weight times sine of your angle. So if you were trying to find the grade resistance for a 2100 pound car traveling on a 1.8 um, degree uphill grade, then all we're doing is plugging in what we know, figuring out what we don't know. So it says find the grade resistance, which means we're finding the force applied. Um, and then our weight is a 2100 pound car times sine of 1.8 degrees. And we plug it into the calculator. We're going to round to the nearest um, pound for our force. Our force is in pounds. So if you plug that into a calculator, you're going to get about um, 70 pounds. All right, so not meant to be tricky. Um, just a very brief introduction into the world of physics. Um, let me do one more. That this time we have a 2600 pound car traveling downhill at a uh, has a grade resistance aka force of negative 130 pounds find the angle um, so since we're going down we're pulling downhill and this time we're missing the angle so for our formula our force of w sine theta our force is negative 130 our weight of our vehicle 2600 pounds and we don't know theta so eventually we're going to do the inverse sign to solve this um, but we'll start by dividing 2600 over and if you divide this out you'll get a negative 0 0.05 equals sine of theta and then we are going to do the inverse sign of this so theta is going to be the inverse sine of that decimal, negative 0 0.05. And if we plug that into a calculator, the calculator is going to spit out negative 2.87 blah blah blah, blah um, degrees. So that's good. We have a negative angle because we had a negative force, um, and that is supposed to happen that way. If we have a positive angle, we should have a positive force. All right, so that's a very, very brief introduction to some physics called grade resistance. Thanks.